women's heart research. And uh, I found out that even the laboratory mice are males. They are? And I said, well, <laughs> why would, we're, we're trying to find out about women's heart disease, which kills more women than men yeah. since 1984, right? One woman dies of heart disease every minute, and women die of heart disease more than all cancers combined. Now, can you imagine that? I couldn't wrap my head around that. I, I swear, I, I checked it out every which way you can. That is the truth, girls and women. And what's happening nowadays is that more young women are dying of heart disease. Absolutely. Part of this problem, and I think this has been an issue that we've overlooked, is that a lot of doctors practice bikini medicine. You know what bikini right. medicine is? is well, you know, we focus on the yeah. parts of the body with the bikini, the bikini covers, your breasts, right. Uh, you know, the, the vaginal area, yes, cervix, right. you know, the reproductive organs. Right. I mean, that's And yet, what's interesting, now, don't get me wrong, breast cancer has done a magnificent job in making people, women especially, aware of what's at stake and so forth. But we haven't caught up with them in terms of how to make women aware of heart disease. And ten times more women die of heart disease than breast cancer. Those are the facts. They oh, can't, people well, can't wrap about, their hand yeah, around. About this issue, because yeah. there's something, there are very few people who have syndromes coined after them, but there's something called the Yentl syndrome. But just a few, as you might suspect, you know, it, it, it's, women come to the hospital looking like men with their symptoms, and in right. heart disease that's exactly. important, then you get diagnosed correctly. But if you come not looking like a man, what happens? Right. You go misdiagnosed and therefore untreated, and therefore you could go home the next day after the doctor has said, you know, take an antacid or an aspirin, uh, and then you, a lot of women, I mean, stories that I've heard, the next day they're dead in their living room because they weren't taken seriously again, you know? And it's, it's like women stay in the house, blah, blah, blah. But women should understand that because they now go to work and take care of the family, really, they're the center of the family, um, they will put other things ahead of themselves. So they have to know, get heart checked. When you go to your doctor, you ask for an EKG. Ask, tell them your family history. You know, know your cholesterol, your blood pressure, and so forth. Have you ever held a heart? No, but I'd like to. You'd like to? Yes. Love Barbara to hold a heart? Yeah. I have been looking forward oh to this day. Delivered right to me? Yes, delivered right to you. <laughs> There's some purple gloves. Okay. Uh, you know, you sp speak beautifully, artistically, about the fact that women's heart disease is emblematic of the fact that women aren't treated right around the world. And I think you're right.